right. Then let's talk about the ACCA exemptions. You know, depending on your qualification, ACCA also offers some exemptions. Now, I have just given out here a few examples of some popular courses which people do an exemption list for that. But of course, there are many other courses for which you could be eligible for exemption. To know that about that, you can contact Pintram Global and also you could either just on Google type ACCA exemption calculator. You will open a link and you will go to the official ACCA website wherein there's an exemption calculator wherein you can put your university name and everything like that and they tell you if you are eligible for exemption. You can also email to ACCA and they are happy to help. Otherwise, like I said, of course you can reach out to us Fintram Global and we will be happy to help you. But let's just discuss these few you know, categories. Let's say you are a BCom student. You have completed, let's say, BCom or you are a MCom qualified student. Are you going to get any exemption? Yes. You're going to get four subjects exempted. So I myself have done BCom honors. And after that, I started ACC. So I got those four exemptions and I straight away moved to the skill level paper, right? So you will get exemptions from entirely knowledge level and one level paper of skill level, which is your law. So basically, you're getting exemption from BT, which is business and technology, MA, management accounting, FA, financial accounting. Now, these three are knowledge level and law, which is of your skill level. So, if you are done BCom, you're done MCom, you will get these four subjects exempted. Right. Total, there are 13 papers in ACCA. And if you are, uh, you know, done, let's say BCom or MCom, these four subjects you don't have to give. Let's say you have done MBA and now you want to do ACCA. Are there any exemptions? Yes. Three subjects will still be exempted, which is your knowledge level, BT, MA, and MA. Let's say you have done CAIPCC. You have cleared both the groups, right? You are a qualified CAIPCC qualified student. Then you will get five subjects exempted. BT, MA, FA, tax, and AA something, which is your tax and audit and assurance is something you will not have to get. So entire knowledge level and two papers of skill level. Now, let's say you are a qualified chartered accountant, but you want to do ACCA because like I said, global opportunities, IFRS, why not, right? So, great news out of the 13 papers, nine papers, nine subjects are exempted. So, you only have to give the professional level exams. BT, MA, FA, Law, PM, Tax, AA, FR, your financial reporting, financial management, everything is exempted you straight on move to your professional level so that is a great you know opportunity and uh, you can of course quickly uh, in less than a year clear those exams and of course become an acca also so these are some exemptions that acca is offering and like i said if you're doing any other course and you want to know about the exemption either contact fintram global or you could also on google just type acc exemption calculator and you know see whether you are eligible for any exemption or not mm -hmm.